Hello and welcome to, um, I'm not sure if it's the 19th or the 20th Stranded live stream, uh, but it is our 2021 spring launch event. Um, so you're more than welcome to join us here, whether it's your morning, your afternoon or, or in the middle of the night. We have some, um, I think, very exciting things. Uh, we've leaked, semi-leaked, teased most of what we're going to talk about today. Um, but I think uh, we'll have a good time anyway. Um, I'm going to be looking over to my left um, and look for your comments. Uh, if I show that window. And um, I'll do my best to take questions live um, during the stream as well. So um, just to make this as interactive as possible. Um, let's begin with our April Fools, which um, gave us a lot of fun for weeks. Um, and I hope it gave you a lot of fun for um, these few days. Um, some people might think that we went a little overboard <laughs> with this, but um, yeah, we um, we had a lot of fun. Um, and I'm going to show it to you um, right here. So um, this, just like last year's April Fool's, which was the True Temperament Strings, was the brainchild of our uh, shop manager and now photographer David who is actually in the room here. Say something. <laughs> so he set about um, and designed this in what? Like SketchUp? Uh, Blender. Blender. And um, we have a small 3D printer here in the office. Um, so it was 3D printed in uh, four parts. And then it's, it's this wood effect um, decorative vinyl on it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more or less, um, printable or, or uh, pl playable. And the, uh, the audio that you hear in the video, um, is actually pair playing a ukulele. So it's not an acoustic guitar, which, um, a lot of people thought. Um, and I actually got some, uh, audio here that will play for you. When we saw our artist Tara Longfield and her friend Rob Scallon shred on Uke's lead. <clears throat> when we saw our art. Oh. Yeah, that sounds not so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that um, that was a lot of fun, um, and Dave, David also pointed out that uh, Frederick, who a lot of uh, you will probably have dealt with through our customer support, he's our um, engineer over here. Um, he did a lot of the um, the engineering. He's he's the one that's the, the master of the three D printer. Um, I heard um, so. Johannes saying, can we have the STL files? Um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's, it does, after all, contain the secret Endurnik technology, which is not so secret, um, but it is patented. Um, but you'll be welcome to reproduce it, I think. So we'll see what we do um, with that. But um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope you took it in the spirit of fun 
and uh, weren't offended if we perhaps fooled you by doing it very elaborately. Uh, but we, we did have a lot of fun uh, making it. Um, next, let's um, go to the silent jazz. Um, let's begin with a, a short clip here um, with some beauty shots and Ollie Pickering uh, performing. So, the silent jazz. Um, we are really um, excited about this guitar um, overall. I think um, one of the things that, that people have been asking for for a long time is, is the dual humbucker silent model. So um, that's a cool first um, for, for this guitar. And uh, the other thing which is kind of a given, I guess, for, for a jazz-oriented guitar. Um, and not too uh, strange, I guess, is an all-mahogany construction. So both the neck and the body is made from um, mahogany. Um, and this is something that we have successfully used in some lim limited runs before, and um, several custom shop guitars back in the day when, when the custom shop existed. And this is mated with, um, this, this is a very well-known recipe for, for success, um, a, a maple top. So it's, it's a solid uh, maple top and, and they're just a decorative veneer um, to, um, just for, for the looks basically, uh, to give it a consistent mahogany look. I know, um, the feelings are somewhat divided about the pickguard, uh, but you can actually remove this. So just uh, unscrew the, the switch and uh, pull the pickguard off and, and remount the switch. And um, you get an even more uh, minimalistic look. And then um, obviously this this is far from, uh, it's not at all limited to, uh, to playing jazz. It, it does have a rounder tone with, with the rosewood fingerboard and, and the mahogany body um, but this will uh, rock all kinds of music styles um, these are the um, Stramberg MF classic uh, pickups uh, bridge and neck so um, slightly lower output slightly more vintage tone um, but that also gives you a lot of headroom for uh, for your amps if, if you want to do some um, more interesting things with that and um, we only had this this one guitar um, during this this time period so um, we don't have a huge library of, of demos yet uh, but we'll get that organized um, shortly and um, after this live stream all our uh, so landing pages for um, sound jazz and the Bowden DR will go up in, in the shop and the product pages. So you can find all of the information uh, about them there. You can find the demo videos and you can sign up to the wait lists um, for, for these models. The, if you follow us closely, you know that um, Silent Jazz, fo photos of the Silent Jazz were leaked a little bit prematurely. Uh, we had a, actually intended to wait uh, and, and hold off on this guy for a little bit longer. Um, but we're thrilled that the cat is out of the bag and uh, we're excited to show it to you and it will um, go live in the shop in a, in a few weeks as soon as we receive uh, the, the uh, launch stock. I'm also going to say that um, 
what you will notice um, if you were checking out the teasers and, and the um, videos that, that came out early is this new sculpted heel, which is um, very comfortable. I didn't think the old one was too bad, but this, this is definitely um, a step in the right direction um, to, to make it even more ergonomic and, and playable. Um, this is, uh, what is the gauges of the string? So actually, um, we are launching this with, with the same 1046 um, set that, that comes with um, basically all of our six string guitars, but this will take anything uh, up to, to, to 12 gauge with, with the one third. This actually has, this is set up to, to go to one of our artists it's got the top strings from a 13 set and the bottom strings from a 12 set or vice versa. But Ollie played his demo with, um, with flat wounds on this. So it'll take um, whatever you want and um, strings are cheap <laughs> relatively. So go wild and, and put whatever you want on there. Um, right. Um, Silent Jazz, any more super questions? <laughs> Mark says, will there be future extended range Jazz Silent? <laughs> Who knows? It's, life is long. <laughs> there's, there's not one planned. I, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people are, have been asking for, um, for a seven string Silent. Um, Salem with, with tremolo, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I think we have um, probably have some some boxes left to check uh, before we get to the more um, esoteric guitars. Um, as you know, um, we are in a situation where, where it's hard to, to meet demand. We're doing our best to um, increase production and, and grow with with control and, and keep um, quality up to par. Uh, so we don't, we don't want to rush um, production and, and throw um, a lot of new models and, and specs um, on, on the production team. Um, we, it's, it's really key that um, we let staff receive um, appropriate training um, and that will be hard if, if we um, grow production too quickly. So um, let's move on to the next thing, which I will pick it up um, very shortly. But before, um, as as you know, I love, uh, well, maybe you don't know, but uh, I love cycling and um, we had a little bit of fun, uh, David and I, the other day and took a bunch of cameras with us and uh, we shot some outdoor footage, which might be totally left field, um, but I hope it'll be a little bit enjoyable anyway. So this is our new Venture gig bag and it's obviously messing up the, the green screen <laughs> so <laughs> forgive me for that. Um, it features an invisible logo 
that allows you to see whatever's uh, on the other side. Um, but what it also does is, if, uh, if you've been following Strammer for a long time, you'll know that the uh, original design of, of the gig bag, which is now called the deluxe gig bag, is asymmetric. Um, so that you can put it on your back and, and ride a bike where you're kind of leaning forward and it wouldn't hit you at the back of the helmet, which is otherwise a problem. So um, what we did with, with this bag is um, it, it's got the, the normal straps like this, of course, but it also has, um, so these are, um, these are Fidlock locks. If we can show that. So these are magnetic and, and they um, snap in place really easily and um, very secure. So um, you can easily just pull that out and just stow away this strap. Um, and obviously um, you can stow the, the other strap as well. But if you mate the um, so there's, there's a green marker and a green marker on, on this. So if you mate it that way, you can put it on asymmetrically. And, and again, it's not going to hit you uh, at the back of the head if, if you're on a bike. So um, that's something that that I enjoy and I think it's it's a cool feature and I think we should we should all do um, what we can for uh, for the planet and um, ride our bikes as, as much as we can. Um, the other thing is um, there's, there's a small pocket here for um, your subway card or keys or um, coins um, or whatever that, that you can easily Access. So let's take this guy out again. So when it's it's on your back, it's it's easy to reach uh, this pocket and, and get whatever you need out of it. Um, as for the insides, um, you notice it's, it's a very clean look. There's no outside pocket. There's nothing that someone on the subway can stick their hands into and um, get into the bag. So instead, um, there's a full... I'm streaming off my laptop, so I'm not going to be able to, to show you. But this uh, fits a 15-inch laptop right here. And then um, up here is, is a zippered pocket for uh, tools or cables or pedals or um, whatever you want. And then the uh, guitar sits in here. It's um, claps, clasped with this, uh, this padded little thing. And you unhook it and you can reveal your new guitar. Um, I think that's, that's it for the um, Venture Gig Bag, which um, we'll be launching exclusively for the Bowden DR um, at the moment. So that will be um, your only way to get them right now. Let's see. Um, ah, I forgot one thing. Another, actually, another key feature of the um, Venture Gig Bag, and now we're going to mess up the green screen even more, <laughs> is uh, our invisibility cloak. Woo <laughs> but it's a um, rain cover. Let me, uh, let me do this. I'm going to um, shutting off the green screen. So, um, it's um, rain cover, dart cover, 
and it, it stows easily in, into the back. But um, yeah, that's it's called an, an invisibility cloak for the Bowden DR. Very stealthy. That was the Venture gig bag. Um, let's see what we're saying about the um, yeah Harry Potter mod. Um, yeah. Now the Bowden DR. Uh, I think you will have seen. Um, new features by now um, leaked in, in portions over the past few days this is again um, an old mahogany guitar uh, mahogany neck mahogany body it's a solid maple top so um, the base characteristics are actually close to um, the silent jazz but what is also what is uh, entirely new for Strandberg is a rich light fretboard. Um, I gotta say, I was personally skeptical um, to rich light. If if you asked me um, only months ago uh, or, or years ago, I, I know I've received this question before, and um, I've been very skeptical um, about a rich light fretboard. I've, I've played other guitars with rich light. I uh, didn't really like how the material handled. Um, I, I find if you hold a piece of wood and, and, and you tap it, that there should be nice and high tap tone. And, and I thought Rich Light had a tendency to kind of sound like cardboard. And, and that's what it is. It, it is com condensed paper. But um, honestly, when you put it on one of our guitars, um, it just works really, really well. Um, it's, it, it's a new dimension of, of the resonance of, of the guitar and, and the whole thing um, just vibrates differently. It's, it's interesting, um, very, very fascinating sensation. Um, and it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, it's dead black. Um, it, it's polished to a very nice um, satin sheen. Um, so this thing acoustically sounds very different from the silent jazz, even though the body and the neck are made from the same material. So the the fretboard has a massive effect on uh, on the acoustics of the guitar. Um, same heel carve, uh, of course, but what we also have um, on the bottom DR is the arm belt, and uh, for the eagle eyed you might be able to spot that this is actually a deeper it, it's an it, it's a more rounded carve than the uh, regular Bowden design and whereas the the regular Bowden carve was is, is sort of in, in this general direction this one has been um, swooped back it's, it's been rotated backwards a little bit so it's it's rounder, and it hits your um, your arm a uh, little bit differently in a way that, that I think um, you'll enjoy. And I think in, in, in particular, um, no, I think I think all playing positions is, uh, are going to benefit from this. Um, just going to see if we have any particular questions here. Um, yeah, and the other thing that we've um, leaked is our new knobs. So um, a lot of you have asked over, over the years for, uh, for less, less slippery knobs. So um, obviously making uh, knobs that, that are just knurled is, is easy enough, but what we also did um, for these new knobs is uh, there's a segment of the knob 
cut off. Let's see, it's going to go out of focus. Let me, uh, switching this over to autofocus. And maybe you'll see that uh, th there's a cutoff section here. So as you play, you can, you can actually feel uh, w with your finger uh, what, what the position of the knob is. You, you don't have to look down at, at your guitar uh, in order to, to see the, or, or yeah, see the position of the knobs. And there's also, I don't think that's going to show on camera here. We'll get some better beauty shots um, for this. The, the shadows aren't cooperating right now. But there's actually a small, there's a small graded uh, washer underneath the, uh, the knob, which is more, honestly, it's more of a decorative um, thing than anything else. But um, yeah, I wanted to just do a knob that, that wasn't just another knob uh, with, with a Stramberg logo on it. Um, but I think this, this is actually really useful um, feature and, and you can f um, feel in, instead of have to look where your knobs are. Um, other distinguishing factors, I guess, for, for this guitar is the titanium colored hardware, um, anodized. This has our uh, Bowden Original MF uh, pickup set, um, which are very versatile and, and um, uh, voiced for our guitars um, specifically and, and uh, just interact very well with, with the um, acoustics of the, the Stramberg construction. Um, super versatile and um, I'm going to play a short clip by um, our pilot beta tester uh, Kenny Serain who has had a Bowden DR for uh, the last couple of months and has some uh, first-hand experience. So, be right there. Strandberg guitars have always made me dream about their very modern approach to the instrument. I like this philosophy of looking for the best wood, the most comfortable shape, the best intonation. The electric guitar has not changed very much since its inception, and it's pretty cool to know that a brand trying to improve it. I have never been a guitar collector. The idea of having only one guitar and progressing together musically is kind of my philosophy. For me, if I can play any style of music, sound and feel great with a guitar, wouldn't that be the perfect one? When I first played this guitar, I plugged it in and wow. The first thing that surprised me was the resonance. There's this kind of connection between the body and the neck. The fretboard is made of witch light, a composite material. I must say I was impressed with the same playing feel as traditional wood, but with better resonance. I really like the new pickups. With this 5-way switch, I have hundreds of tones under my fingers. I use the volume pad a lot when playing with overdrive, and the new knob design helps me with this. I can find my way just by touching it, very handy.
I love to play this guitar. Whether in studio or live setting, I will always have a reliable instrument on which I can express myself at my best. Um, and Kenny has recorded uh, an amazing demo that, that just shows the, uh, the, the versatility of, of this instrument and, and shows off um, all, all the tones that you can get out of it, um, which it'll um, be up uh, shortly after this live stream. It's going to be up on, on the product pages of the uh, website and on YouTube. So please go and enjoy that uh, full demo. It's, it's um, absolutely amazing. We're, we're absolutely thrilled about this and, and uh, what, what Kenny did. Um, we had a great question, which is scrolling away. Is the DR chambered? Yes. Um, like most of our uh, guitars, except the, uh, the classic and standard lines, uh, the Bowden DR is um, chambered. Um, let's see. Will the DR be available in a seven string? It is not planned, uh, but we'll see what happens in the uh, future. Uh, let's see, what did Kenny use for the tone? I will find out and we'll put it up in, in the description of the YouTube uh, video, uh, but um, he goes through all these different playing styles, uh, which is, I, I guess, one of the things that, that Kenny does best is, is, is just um, merge together and, and blend um, all these styles in, in just this amazingly um, effortless fashion. Um, let's see. Lots of questions. What does DR stand for? Um, I, I actually planned uh, a reveal what the DR stands for, uh, but I forgot about it in, in the stress of just routing cables and stuff all over this studio. So um, I'm going to keep that quiet uh, or under wraps for a little while longer and maybe We'll reveal at, at some point what, what DR stands for. Um, it can stand for whatever you want. Let's see. Um, when will this guitar be in production? It is in production and it is in stock here in the EU. Um, again, the product pages will go live. Um, just after this uh, live stream and you can sign up to the waitlist and uh, you will receive a notification about the uh, exact time and date when they will go live uh, and be, be available for purchase. But I can reveal already now that in the EU we plan to um, make them available for sale on Friday this week. So we'll start shipping uh, bright and early Monday as, as soon as we get into the office if you place the order over the weekend. Um, in the US it'll be uh, a little while longer. We're, we're waiting for um, um, some stuff but <laughs> the guitars are there which is the important part. Um, and as I mentioned already, uh, the Silent Jazz is, uh, is a few weeks out, but again, sign up to the waitlist and you will receive uh, notifications about the, uh, the in-stock status and when it will go live. Um, let's see. Mm -mm. Yeah, Aaron has it. Don't reveal. Israel says, uh, is the Indernic profile the same as the other models? It is the same as the other models. Uh, perhaps um, the, the 
lighting or, or the um, mahogany wood makes it appear a little bit differently. Um, but it is, it, it is nominally the, the same as, um, as regular shape. But it's even even though um, we have the, the the lacquer, it's it's a distinctly different feel than than a maple neck. Uh, the 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 surface is the same, but as soon as you play this guitar, um, it is just different in um, I think a good way. Very cool. Uh, obvious question. Will the heel shape and arm bevel be applied to other models? Probably, it's it's a safe bet. Um, we're rolling it out on the um, the Bowden DR now, so um, I will leak for now that the, um, my idea with um, with the Bowden DR is is that this will be like the uh, formula one of the car industry if you will show technologies um, that are upcoming um, or, or that will be um, like the future of the brand um, maybe we'll try out concepts that don't make it um, but we'll also try out concepts that we plan to um, to incorporate in, in our other products but um, we'll keep you guys um, in the loop uh, through our various channels. Um, Sound Jazz and D are both mahogany bodies? Yes. And they are both chambered, which I forgot to say before. Uh, Brian, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, Kenny is online. Fractal FM3 and a VH4 amp for this one. Uh, you asked before what the uh, lead tone was of, of Kenny's playing. Um, is there going to be a trem version? There is not one planned. You are looking at the Bowden DR model uh, for now. Um, Killer tone, dude, Kenny. Um, does it have carbon fiber? Yes. So um, the uh, the Bowden DR and Silent Jazz, the the mahogany neck models, they feature the same uh, carbon fiber laminates as our other regular models. Um, Pricing, specs, details, um, check out the um, product pages on, on the website that, that are going live um, as we speak or very shortly. And um, you'll have all the information there in your currency of choice. Um, let's see. Uh, Caleb, don't feel dumb um, at all. Um, everything is a um, valid question. And a chambered guitar is not very common for electric guitars at all. So it's, it's not at all um, a question to feel dumb about asking. Basically what it is, is um, that the um, it's hollow. So we, we carve out a, 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 it's a big cavity here on top. And there's an oversized cavity um, at the bottom, so it's it's larger than what what just the, the controls would need. Um, you can see it a little bit better on the um, on the Silent Jazz, which, which has an F hole. So this this exposes the um, the upper chamber, which extends to right about up here. So. Um, we do this for weight reduction, of course, and, and that's one of the things um, with a headless guitar. This, just by not having all the weight from 
uh, regular tuning machines out here, we can make a very lightweight body uh, and without the guitar becoming neck heavy, which would otherwise be the case. So a lot of it is about uh, weight reduction and um, getting better balance of, of the guitar. But it also affects um, how the guitar responds as, as you play. The, the, uh, when there's not so much mass in, in the guitar, it responds more quickly. It, it, there, there's more headroom in the tone. If, if you hit it softly, it, it's going to vibrate softly. And if, if you dig in, it's going to give you um, a lot of output. So a, a Strammer guitar will be more dynamic, uh, if you will, and more maybe a lot of people call the sound organic uh, of a Stramberg. And a lot of it is, is um, down to the, the chambering. And it's, it's a pretty subtle difference if, if you compare like a Bowden Standard to one of our other, other chamber models. But then the, um, the basswood of the Standard model is, is extremely lightweight. So it's, it's close to having a chambered guitar in the first place. Um, but, um, yeah, it's a massive subject and, and something that, uh, I'm not the right person really to put words, uh, on it. it it's something you, that, that you have to, uh, experience and, and play yourself. And, um, I often say that whether something can be heard through a signal chain and out through an amp and speakers to an audience, Probably not, but when you play the guitar and, and you feel how it vibrates against your body, which is definitely affected by these things, that makes you play differently. And if, if, if you can bond with a guitar because you think it looks beautiful and it plays beautifully and it vibrates uh, beautifully as, as you play it, that will make you play better. And an audience will hear that, even if they can't hear if it's chambered or not chambered. But it, it, it's a lighter guitar, um, lets you play more relaxed, etc. so on and so forth. So not a dumb question at all, because it, it's very few guitars are actually uh, chambered in, in this way. Um, some might be drilled out to make them lighter, but it's very um, expensive and time consuming to chamber a guitar properly. Um, let's see. Get any more? Um, yeah, choose for, for practicing and not plug in. Every Strandberg will be very loud acoustically. Um, so it's, it's an excellent guitar for, for practicing, not plugged in. Um, I think a, a chamber guitar is probably a little bit louder acoustically because it's there's just air in, inside that, that will uh, vibrate. So it's probably a little bit uh, louder, but every Strandberg is, is loud when you play it acoustically. So defined with, with whichever model. Uh, Gordon, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I know that's it's another dividing um, uh, feature with the uh, FO. We went for a very traditional look um, in, in the styling of, of this guitar. Um, you well, you obviously know the Cell and Deluxe Vintage Burst has the, the signature Strandberg um, FO. We did it for a while on the um, Candy Apple Red Salon, but um, that FO is um, it, it's very complicated to do in production. And if one guitar takes a lot of time, it takes time away from producing other guitars. Um, I'm, I'm sad to say, I mean, it's, yeah, too much information probably, but yeah, we, we have to take all kinds of, um, considerations, um, into uh, account for, um, just 
keeping production volume reliable and um, high. So sometimes we, we make sacrifices. This was not one of them, I, I think. We, I wanted this styling and I should be better prepared and give credit to our Strandberg fan and Spark program participant who basically designed this guitar and I ripped off the design uh, or at least the idea of it. Um, I will find out who did it and, and give proper credit um, at some point, but I love the styling myself and um, hopefully um, enough of you can live with it. Um, let's see, any other good questions? Does the F will make it acoustically louder? Um, probably not in, in a discernible way. Um, possibly that you might experience it as, as louder, but it would be a um, pretty small effect. Um, Connor, top material of the DR, it is solid maple, um, which we have uh, painted in our uh, titanium finish. Uh, is there a particular reason we've chosen not to ship salads just with flat mounts? Well, yes. We have named it Silent Jazz, just like we have named some other models, Fusion, uh, Metal, um, Classic, um, Prague. Um, but they are far from limited um, to those music styles. This, just like all the other guitars, can be used really for, for anything. And uh, we don't want to uh, pigeonhole it into the jazz genre. Um, this will do anything um, and it will do it well, but it has, it's styled as, uh, as a jazz guitar. It has some of, some of the, the stereotypical um, features and attributes of, of a jazz guitar, but it is a Strandberg and it will do anything you ask of it really. Um, and it's, it, it is fairly easy and straightforward to, um, to change strings to, um, to flat bonds and it will happily take it. And again, if, if I hadn't been, uh, so busy, uh, routing cables in the studio leading up to this live stream, we would have had Ollie, um, live here <laughs> with us. Um, we'll, we'll get him, uh, another time. Um, Tadeu, long time no see. Are you planning to distribute in China mainland? Yes. Um, we have uh, our dealer, uh, Guitar Cube, in um, China, and they distribute um, across a lot, lot of China. I don't know the name of the individual dealers, but um, we are very global. Uh, actually at, at this point. Uh, we're very well represented in, in the Far East. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, Jacob, yeah, they work fine, unplugged. Um, I, I have to say, and I've, I've said this before, me personally, I only play the guitars unplugged. Um, that allows me to experience the, the differences between the guitars um, better and, and really feel the guitar rather than, than hear the guitar. And um, I, I played live when, when I was a teenager, but um, I wouldn't call myself a, a guitarist. Um, I have no idea what it feels like to like properly perform in front of an audience and um, what the electronic chain of, of a guitar needs. And thankfully, 
um, we have plenty of people in the Strammer Guitarist organization that do know. Um, and we have an amazing team of artist ambassadors that we can work very closely with um, and learn about what their needs are. And since we sell direct to customers, we continuously get feedback uh, directly from customer uh, customers about the the, um, the requirements. And that's something that I do know how to do is is listen to what people say, even if I don't know how to listen to a guitar tone myself or, or tease like the right tone out of a stack of amps or a pedal board. Um, I know which questions to ask. I know how to interpret the responses. And um, we have plenty of, of incredibly talented um, players and um, staff in, in the company who then understand how to um, formulate this in, in a way that a pickup designer such as Michael Frank uh, can interpret. And that's the, um, you're seeing the result now in, in the classic pickups of, of the Silent Jazz and the original pickups of, of the Bowden DR. Um, and, and that's also what goes into um, choosing the, the pickup models that, that go into our various guitars. But yeah, I only play our guitars acoustically, actually. Um, and it's sometimes kind of awkward to be in situations like this or, or at a trade show or meeting musicians. And I can't really talk electronics, uh, but I've, I've learned to deal with it. <laughs> um, let's see what other questions. Can I tap the guitars to hear the resonance? Well, definitely, yes, in, in person. I don't know if it's going to like work in front of the... I don't think you're going to hear it in the microphone. Well, maybe you did. It, it is a distinctly different uh, tap tone of, of the guitars. Even though they're actually both made, out of mahogany. They're both chambered. They have a maple top. But um, yeah, it's it's part of it is, is due to the shape, of course, but yeah, the, the rich light fretboard uh, makes a big difference. I don't know why I'm looking at the microphone when I'm telling you this, but <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. Do we have any other questions here? Why isn't Strammy Guitars available to try at a music store in Sweden? Well, we do have a few, um, but this is actually the situation in, in, in most countries. Um, we are a, a primarily direct sales model, so um, we encourage you to buy direct from us. But um, our dealers are also a very important um, part of the, the equation and um, gives you uh, more access to, to try guitars in person. Um, they have uh, payment plans that we might not be able to, to provide. They take trade-ins, so on and so forth. They can give you direct interactive um, service. Uh, we only work with dealers that have a dedicated guitar department and, and an in-house tech. So um, they're a very important part of uh, of our sales and distribution model. Um, but generally speaking, um, we um, choose to have um, only a few dealers uh, per country. Um, and again, we can't meet demand. So we're turning dealers away uh, at currently. Uh, but as, as we increase our production capacity, we hope that we can um, also work with more dealers in the future. Um, let's see. Uh, Michael says, for me, the chambering makes the vibrations of the notes travel into your body so you can actually physically feel what you're playing much more than a slab electric. Um, 
I agree, and I, I think just overall the the mass of the guitar is is important. So the 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 lighter, uh, the more resonant it, it will be. Um, speaking to other guitar makers, would you say that headless guitars have a sound characteristic in common? Um, actually. Uh, I'm not sure they have a characteristic in, in common, but uh, I have talked to other builders. And um, early on in, in, in my career, when I was still like in, in the research stages and I was building the, the first few guitars myself, I met very well respected uh, builders and luthiers that, that just said flat out, doesn't work. Headless is, is uh, useless. Um, and I think what they are referring to is um, there are characteristics of a, of a guitar that depend on, on the mass at, at the end of the headstock. So the tuning machines um, and, and just the extra length, they will make the neck portion of, of the guitar vibrate differently than, than a headless construction. And I think what, what further um, is the common denominator of all Strandberg guitars is our uh, aircraft aluminium hardware, which is um, it's machined out of solid aluminium rather than um, cast or, or or stamped out in in the thousands. And this just means that that when I hit a string, the mass that I have to set in motion before it hits the wood. Um, it's a much, much less than if you had a, a traditional steel or brass or, or sink bridge, which are the, the common materials. So I, I think um, probably what, what these other builders were referring to was, was trying to create a headless construction with conventional parts. And that might not have given them the, the correct characteristics that, that they were looking for. But with, uh, with everything put together, um, the lightweight hardware, the, the tight coupling, you'll notice every part of the Strandberg is, is like bolted down or, or uh, pinched in place um, just to, to prevent uh, any loss of, of vibrational energy as, as you hit a string. Just wanted to go as, as directly as possible into the body um, and I think this, this is also what makes, um, I think most Strammer guitars that, that feature different materials, they, um, they lift out the characteristics of the materials uh, more than, than other constructions. So you, you can actually hear the difference between a mahogany guitar and a swamp ash guitar, um, an alder guitar. Um, th those chain, those differences are more uh, obvious in, in a Strammer guitar than, than many others. Um, it has something additionally uh, brilliant to say, but um, it escapes me right now. Um, let's see, any more questions? Um, does that mean that the current Cell and Deluxe will no longer feature this style of FO? Um, the Cell and Deluxe is unchanged, so it, it still has the, the, the flower, the, the traditional Strandberg FO. Um, what material is the fretboard in the Silent Jazz? It is rosewood. Um, if you've been in the guitar business in the past few years, you know that the um, uh, CITES rules basically prevented the use of rosewood um, for some time. But the, um, that was largely due to just the manufacture of massive rosewood furniture, uh, not the tiny quantities that, that are used in the guitar industry. So since early last year, um, the rosewood is, is extinct, uh, exempt from, from the CITES legislation. So now it's okay to use rosewood again. Uh, we used Pau Ferro um, in, in, in for a couple of years, which is a great substitute, but um, actually happy to, to be back at rosewood. Um, 
which is not threatened in terms of how it's used in, in guitars. The uh, humbuckers in the Salon Jazz is the uh, Michael Frank designed uh, classic set. So um, I had mentally set aside an hour for this live stream. So maybe one last question and see. Ooh. Isaac, our um, amazing social media wizard, um, the loudest acoustic strammer being the Madeira. <laughs> uh, if if you're late to the stream, um, we uh, I'll say again. Um, I hope you had as much fun with the um, Madeira as as um, we did. It does make sound. Um, I will also mention um, an interesting characteristic of this guitar or this ukulele is that the bridges were actually drawn to be further back so it the octave is on the 11th fret <laughs> which is a very interesting characteristic when when you try to play it um but yeah it it makes makes beautiful sound anyway um but i think with that, um, I'm going to thank you very much for the attention. Um, hope you're excited as we are uh, about the Salon Jazz, the Bone DR, that will be the only model that comes with the Venture Gig Bag. And um, product pages are going live now or shortly. Um, you can sign up to the wait lists. The Bone DR will, um, will start taking orders here in Europe. Uh, this week on Friday and um, in a few weeks in the US and um, well we can't wait um, these videos as usual uh, as part of the stranded live stream they are also going that they're, they're being archived on our YouTube channel so um, feel free to tell your friends uh, watch it again um, or do whatever it is you do. But with that, I will sign off and um, say thanks to David who has been uh, valiantly uh, <laughs> been ready to um, correct any visual or um, audio disasters tonight. See you soon. Bye.